Hey G-Squad, welcome back to an episode of Is It Worth It? So for today's episode, we have this cool, amazing product right here in my hand, as you can see. Basically what it is, is a massage gun. So first thing first, let's actually open up the product to show you what it actually looks like and what comes out the package first. So when you guys first open the product itself, you can see that there's a bag or case inside. So here's the case and that's basically everything in here. So it's definitely cool how they have this little handle right here and the overall bag itself feels really nice. The design kind of looks like a little carbon fiber material, but it's definitely not. Let's open up the little bag right here first. So when you guys first open it up, this is basically what's inside, if it's insane. So we have the user guide and instruction card right here. And then basically everything else in the bottom part right here. So let me actually take it all out. So right here is massage gun. Right here is a cable that you guys would use to actually plug it in to charge it. And then they provide you guys six types of massage head. So this is the first one that we have right here. Second one that we have right here. Third one that we have right here. Fourth one that we have right here. Fifth one that we have right here. And the last one that we have right here. So I'm just gonna take out one of them to kind of test it out. But before I actually test it out, let me show you the actual massage gun first. So right here we have the massage gun. Let's take it out. All right, so this is basically what the massage gun looks like. It's in C, very nice design. It kind of have that reflective kind of like design or material that you use right here. The overall grip right here feels really, really nice and super high quality. I would just actually feel it. Like, I think this is probably one of the most comfortable and most like really, really soft and smooth handle grip that I actually ever tried in any kind of massage gun ever. The bottom part, you can see that there's the switch right here to activate it. So once you guys push it, it activates to turn it on. And there's actually this slot right here to plug in the cable to charge it up. And then if you guys look right here, there's the actual uh, label right here to show you the battery level and everything. And the back part right here is where it's actually activated. So if you guys press this to turn on. And then increase right here. And then lower right here. And then this is where to actually put in the massage head right here. So all you guys have to do is just push it in like this. Make sure it goes all the way in. And then turn it on. It's all set and you can start using it. So before I actually try it out, let me show you guys how much is the decibel on here first. All right, so we have our decibel tester right here. So I'm gonna slowly bring it up from uh, one to uh, 20 and show you guys what it sounds like. So basically when you guys turn on the max speed right here, it can hit up to uh, 60.7 decibel. And then if you guys are wondering about the battery life on here, it's supposed to last up to like five to 10 hours, depending on uh, what speed level you guys are using. So obviously if you guys are turning on the max speed, most likely you guys won't get any more than uh, five hours of usage on there. But if you guys use it like the lowest one, which is speed level one, you guys can get up to mostly 10 hours of usage on here. So let's just turn it on and give it a try now and see how it feels. You guys see, so I'm gonna turn it to eight and give it a try and see how it feels. So when we have an 8, it definitely feels really nice. It's not too overpowering or it's not too painful. It's just right. But obviously, if you guys turn it to like speed level 20, then it's going to start uh, feeling more painful. So you just put this wherever you guys want to. You guys want to put it onto your shoulder, your arms, legs, or wherever. And it also depends on which one you're using because each massage head is for different parts of your body for wherever you guys are going to be targeting. Um, and if you guys don't know which one to use, the, all the instructions are actually provided for you guys in the actual user guide or user manual itself so you guys can learn which one is for what. So that's basically everything that's on the product itself. Let's actually go do a quick charging test of the product itself to show you guys how to actually charge it and how you guys know when it's charging. And then we'll come back and talk more about the product in a second. All right, so here we have the massage gun right here. We're gonna plug in the cable to see how to actually charge it and to see when it actually charges. So let's plug in the cable first. Alright, so we have it plugged in, you guys can see, so it shows that it's charging right here. You can see it's definitely really cool and different how they show the uh, battery percentage on here and show how it's actually charging. Definitely very different than other massage guns. Alright, welcome back guys. So now I saw the quick charging test itself, you guys can see that it's quite easy to use and quite easy to charge. All you guys have to do is plug in and show you guys when it's charging and when it's uh, done charging or when it's not charging. So now that we did a quick unboxing and testing of the product itself, 
now to answer the question of whether or not it's actually worth it or not. So for me, honestly, I would definitely have to say that this is worth it if you guys want to need one of these, especially if you guys are trying to look for a good, high quality massage gun that is affordable. Like I think out of all the massage guns that I've tried or tested so far, this is really, really affordable and it's actually pretty good quality. Like, especially like I mentioned right here for the handle part, I don't think I tested any massage gun that actually feels as nice as this one. And this part's very different than all the other designs as well. <laughs> But then obviously for those guys who don't want or don't need one or have this one of these then obviously don't buy one and save your money for something else to actually do need but other than that that's been just for quick unboxing and testing of the product itself hope you guys enjoyed this video if you guys did then make sure to subscribe like and comment down below and if you guys like this video and you guys want to see more then make sure to click on that notification in the bottom to be notified of new videos that will be coming up in the future but as always make sure to stay positive be you, and I'll see you guys in the next episode of Is It Worth It? Peace. And then for today's G Squad fan shout day, we have.